East of Eden was James Dean's first major movie role, and it was a big hit with critics and audiences, especially young people who identified with his fiery, alienated portrayal of a misunderstood teenager. He would take that characterization to new heights in his next film, Rebel Without a Cause. But it was his performance in East of Eden that netted him a Best Actor Oscar nomination. Sadly, Dean would never know of his nomination. As we know, he was killed in a car accident September 30th, 1955, just five months after East of Eden was released. It was the first posthumous acting nomination in the Academy's history, and Dean earned another posthumous nomination for Best Actor for 1956 for his performance in Giant. Up next, the performance that beat out James Dean and all the other Best Actor nominees of 1955, Ernest Borgnine is a lonely man who may finally get a chance at love. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, Ernest Borgnine throws everything into Marty. Then James Cagney cramps Doris Day's lifestyle in Love Me or Leave Me. And Frank Sinatra spikes when he hits rock bottom as the man with the golden arm. New